afternoon. At least it's good afternoon for me. For some of you it might be too, but lots of you it's probably good morning. I am just getting her going here in our terminal. Just picked up our uh, loaded trailer. And now I'm going to go over to Virginia. Yeah, it's a beautiful day out here today. It's not nearly as cold as it was yesterday. It was uh, like minus, you know, 30 yesterday with wind chill. And today it feels much better. That sun is nice and warm. Yep, and supposedly next week it's supposed to get even warmer. So. Uh, We should have some nice weather next week. We are off to Virginia. Yep. That's a nice trip. About 20... I would say about 2,500 kilometers, 2,600 kilometers. They want the slow there to be there by uh, Monday morning. We'll see if that's doable, but anyways, we'll get her going here once these vehicle cross pass by here. There we go. We are cleared to go. I have just crossed the border into Roseau, Minnesota. Yep, we are officially in the United States of America. Yeah, that's correct. And I took a couple of days off here, probably two days. But uh, when I came back on uh, on Tuesday from my trip to Edmonton, I had a letter in the mailbox to go see a guy there in the safety department. And uh, somebody had complained about me making YouTube videos. Yeah, so they called me in and we talked about it. And uh, he said they have no problem with me making YouTube videos. He said they just didn't want any negatory uh, stuff on there. Which I respect, I do respect that. He was specifically referring to the video that I called Ice Road, I feel like an Ice Road Trucker. That's the video he was referring to. And if you watch that video, I filmed a Penner truck involved in the accident. And they didn't like that too much. And I can see the point why they don't like it too much, you know. Because if companies sees, uh, see that, you know, and our trucks are involved in, uh, in accidents and stuff like that, uh, you know, it might deter them from hiring penners, right? That's, uh, that's what he was saying too, and uh, I respect that. So I guess I'll be more careful on... Uh, what kind of stuff I film and he was also saying that if I film going down the road and I got the camera face towards me and if I'm looking at the camera or whatever you know they think oh they you know they don't really think that's distracting but he said somebody else might look at that and say you know that's distracting but I personally don't think that uh, I'm doing anything wrong or or that uh, I'm being distracted by my recording. Uh, they said that they have no problem with me recording it and he even said that he went through my channels and he, uh, through my channel and he looked at a uh, lot of my videos and he, he even said that he actually liked a lot of my videos. He said I, they were pretty good. So he, he said, you know, just continue on recording. And 
just make sure I don't put anything negative on there about their company so which I, I, I do respect like I said I do respect that I, I know their reasoning behind that which I have no problem with I'll be more careful next time when I say something about their company or there is a company truck that's involved in an accident or whatever I will be more careful of not showing that but here we are back on the road yeah I don't know how much of a video it's going to be today but we're going to try and make something right and uh, I had my truck in to do a uh, grease uh, the oil change like do a full service on my truck and uh, I was very impressed with uh, my mechanics uh, shop up there in Steinbeck he, uh, he did an awesome job inspecting my truck and uh, going through everything he uh, he did a grease uh, or, or he did the oil change and, uh, and, and, and what most shops say that they will do is check your tires check your brakes and all that when they do a full service but most of the shops I've found don't actually check your tire pressure and uh, these guys they do I found out yep they do they found one tire was sitting at 60 psi which I hadn't even noticed myself you know but I think that I know why or what happened as I went to the shop there and he told me about it that I'm probably going to have to get that tire looked at because it was at 60 psi so I looked at it myself and I found uh, right, I saw right away there was a bolt in the tire and uh, so we went and grabbed some soap water and put it on there and sure enough it was bubbling so we knew that that bolt had penetrated my tire so I told him to take that tire off and I took it to a tire shop and got it fixed brought it back it back on now it's good but uh, I think what happened is uh, on Monday uh, this this week Monday you guys probably remember if you watch every one of my videos I was in Edmonton and I was doing a delivery up there on a construction site I didn't show much of that construction site I don't think but I was up there doing a delivery of a uh, up there in Edmonton at a construction site and I was worried about that right away when I pulled in there that I might be picking up bolts and nails and all that kind of stuff and sure enough I picked up a bolt and that's what I think where it happened is uh, I picked up that bolt there in Edmonton and slowly by the time I got to Steinbeck my tire was down to 60 psi but luckily it didn't do any damage on the tire they were able to repair that tire and put it back on there and it's good now so uh, I guess that just you know more tips to make sure that you guys have a good shop that that actually does check that uh, tires you know that they do look at the tires I mean we I always do go around every morning and kick my tires make sure they're at least there's air in there you know I don't go out there and measure how much PSI they have every day but that just uh, what happened to me there and got a few more air leaks fixed and uh, still haven't gotten all the air leaks yet I uh, took the truck home and uh, by next morning my uh, air tanks were not completely empty but they were still low and uh, so this morning here today I, uh, I went there uh, underneath the truck and checked everything out and I found three more places where where I got air leaks so I know for sure that I got, got three more places fixed so we'll do that next time when I'm in town it's starting to get annoying but, you know I've been in four times now already we still haven't gotten all the air leaks done yet but I actually will get it and I should have no more problems for a while I hope anyways I just figured I share a little bit of that with you guys and let you guys uh, 
decide on what you think. So all that that I have told you about the recording and all that, I think I'm doing it safely. Because I wouldn't want to hurt myself or anybody else, you know. I certainly want to do it safely. But anyways, we're just coming into Rosa here in a little bit. And we'll see what kind of day we have. Alrighty, my day has come to an end. I know we didn't do that much of filming today. But that's just the way it goes if you uh, leave at like 2.30 in the afternoon. You don't get that much to uh, film or... You know, you gotta think about these things sometimes, what you're gonna film and what you're gonna say and all that stuff, you know? So I hope you guys will leave me comments down below on what you think about my YouTube channel and what you think if I'm doing it safely and uh, all that stuff. And if you think I'm doing a good job. I know at least some of you think that I'm doing a good job. So, uh, hey, if you have enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up, share the video, Hit that subscribe button down there below. And we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. So thank you very much for watching.